Sometimes it is difficult to say what we need to, even some simple things can be a threat in our conversation, imagine you could talk fluently anything to anyone, that's why you are going to see it here, 1. A grammar rule, to know how to say your things, 2. A text, to improve your pronunciation, 3. The meaning of some difficult words, to improve your vocabulary, do you want to get rid of your English concerns, you've got a good right step. Here you improve your four skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking to get a higher score in international tests, to improve your career abilities, and to immigrate to Canada or any other English-speaking country. Pay close attention to this video to find out how. In exchange, you help us by clicking on the bell icon to subscribe, and on the like button, to spread the name of Smart Mind. Now, here we go. Grammar Rule Name the following is only a sample list of the most commonly used adjective plus preposition combinations that can be followed by gerunds, accustomed to, he is accustomed to having his own office, addicted to, she is addicted to watching TV, afraid of, she is afraid of speaking in public, anxious about, Norma is anxious about making the presentation, bored of, I am bored of doing the same old job, capable of, he is capable of winning a gold medal, committed to, she is committed to improving her English, concerned about, Nancy was concerned about being late, content with, Tim is content with winning second place, dedicated to, the organization is dedicated to ending poverty, devoted to, the money will be devoted to protecting the environment, disappointed with, Fiona was disappointed with coming in third place, discouraged by, he was discouraged by not getting the job, excited about, the researcher was excited about going to Africa, famous for, that actor is famous for being extremely weird, fond of, she is fond of having picnics, frightened of, she is frightened of being alone at night, guilty of, the banker was guilty of stealing money, happy about, he was happy about winning the lottery, interested in, she is interested in becoming a doctor, involved in, he was involved in making the movie, known for, she was known for causing problems, opposed to, they are opposed to building a new road in the park, proud of, he was proud of having completed the marathon, remembered for, she is remembered for protecting mountain gorillas, responsible for, he is responsible for causing the damage, scared of, Tina is scared of being alone at night, terrified of, the surfer is terrified of being attacked by a shark, tired from, she is tired from working all day, tired of, Margaret is tired of making dinner every night, worried about, the hikers were worried about not having enough water. 2. Text Name From VOA Learning English, this is the Health and Lifestyle Report. U.S. government health officials have approved the first new drug for Alzheimer's disease in nearly 20 years. However, independent experts say the treatment has not been shown to help slow the brain disease, reported the Associated Press. Last week, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, approved the drug, called aducanumab. It was developed by the biotechnology company Biogen in Cambridge, Massachusetts. The drug will be sold under the name Aduhelm. Biogen's stock value increased by 38% on the day of the FDA approval. The approval is based on results showing that the drug seemed reasonably likely to help Alzheimer's patients. It is the only treatment that U.S. regulators have said can treat the disease rather than its resulting conditions or symptoms. However, Reuters news agency reported last week that two members of a group of advisors to the FDA have resigned in protest. Dr. David Knopman and Dr. Joel Perlmutter said they strongly disagreed with the FDA's decision to approve Aduhelm for treatment of Alzheimer's. The decision to approve the drug could affect millions of Americans. It is likely to cause debate among doctors and researchers. The approval may also affect standards used to judge experimental treatments 
including those that seem to help patients only a little. How to judge treatments of difficult conditions is the subject of debate. Groups representing Alzheimer's patients and their families say any new treatment should be approved. But many experts warn that approving the drug could be a bad model and would open the door to poor treatments. Dr. Caleb Alexander was one of the FDA advisors who warned against the drug's approval. The Associated Press reports that he said he was surprised and disappointed by the decision. Alexander is a medical researcher at Johns Hopkins University. He said the FDA gets the respect that it does because it has regulatory standards that are based on firm evidence. In this case, he said, he thought the agency approved the drug without enough evidence. The World Health Organization estimates that 50 million people around the world have dementia. Alzheimer's disease might be the cause of 60 to 70 percent of those cases. Alzheimer's slowly attacks areas of the brain needed for memory, reasoning, communication, and basic daily tasks. Researchers do not fully understand what causes Alzheimer's, but there is agreement among some researchers that brain plaque may be one cause. Aducanumab helps clear a protein called beta amyloid from the brain. Other experimental drugs have done that, but they did not help patients' ability to think, care for themselves, or live independently. Dr. Patrizia Cavazzoni is the FDA's top drug regulator. She said there are uncertainties about the drug. But Cavazzoni added that the drug's ability to reduce harmful plaque in the brain is expected to slow dementia. The data supports patients and caregivers having the choice to use this drug, Cavazzoni told reporters. Before joining the FDA, Cavazzoni worked in the drug industry for several years and held high positions in clinical development, regulatory affairs, and safety risk management for several large drug companies. Under the terms of approval, the FDA requires an additional study to see if the drug is working. If the study fails to show effectiveness, the FDA could withdraw the drug from the market. However, the agency rarely does this. Biogen said it aims to complete the study required by the FDA by 2030. Biogen stopped two studies in 2019, after disappointing results. The studies suggested that aducanumab would not meet its goal of slowing the loss of mental abilities in Alzheimer's patients. Several months later, the company announced that one of the earlier studies appeared to show that the drug was effective in higher amounts. However, the change raised questions among many experts, including those working for the FDA. Biogen said about 900 U.S. medical centers are ready to begin using the drug, and more are expected to do so in the coming months. And that's the Health and Lifestyle Report. I'm Ana Mateo. Remember to check the links for Canadian companies searching for employees outside of Canada in the description. Three words in this story. 
regulator and official who works for the government and who controls a public activity by enforcing rules, standard a level of quality that is considered acceptable or desirable, or that may be required by rules, disappointed feeling unhappy or displeased, because something was not as good as expected, plaque a change in brain tissue that happens in Alzheimer's disease, data information, clinical based on work done with real patients, relating to medical treatment that is given to patients in hospitals. Say to us your questions and pretty soon, you will see what we have to say. Leave your comments about this video, and we will know what you like, and what we can do better to help you. I'll see you at the next one, bye for now.